Welcome to USA Global TV and Radio, where our mission is to provide education, entertainment, hope, and inspiration. USA Global TV and Radio connects you with experts and audiences all around the world every single day to help you succeed in business and to live a richer life. Visit us at usaglobaltv.com to learn about career and life-changing training and mentoring programs like The Listening Mentor. Subscribe to our newsletter to stay informed about our special programs and offers. Discover how you can become a guest on one of our shows or a host or producer of a USA Global TV and radio show of your very own. That's USA Global TV and radio, where the doctor is always in. Hello, and welcome to a very special episode for myself, Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck, sharing something that is so significant that I wanted to let all of you know what's going on. So as you saw in the beginning, this episode is in reference to our new book. We have three new books coming out this month alone, which is super special. And of course, when we started planning these books and putting the books out there, I didn't know that my dear mother was going to fall ill and to leave us. And so these books are even more special because tonight when this was delivered, Mastering the Power of Elevated Listening, this is something I would be celebrating with my mom right now. So I hope you'll celebrate it with me since mom's not here. She's here in my heart, of course. But this book, Mastering the Power of Elevated Listening, Solutions for Deeper Connections, Better Relationships, and More Authentic Conversations, I believe is what we truly need in this world. What the world needs now is love, correct? Well, part of love, part of empathy, part of compassion, part of respect is listening at an elevated level. Now, I know what you're thinking. I can hear you. You're saying to yourself, I'm already an excellent listener. How do you know? How do you know? Is part of the role that you provide in this world, does it include listening? That's fantastic. Does that mean you're doing a great job at it? I don't know. Do you know? Do your clients give you feedback? This isn't meant to be judgmental. It's meant to be a learning opportunity. I've produced or hosted over 5,000 episodes of programs. And during that time, I spend an extensive amount of time just listening. And there are times when it's tough to listen because we have a TV platform and people get really engaged with what they're saying and they forget that there needs to be interaction. So I'm here with you right now so there's no one to interact with. And this is pre-recorded, so you can't even put any comments out there. But when we're doing a live show, what I'd love to do as the producer and even the host is pull the person back because they're going over the allotted time to share what they have to share so we can have this interaction. But I don't do it. I don't do it because I promised to give people a safe space to share. So I have an up and coming speaker engagement and it's next year. And one of the questions I was asked several months ago was, do you have a book on listening? And I said, yes, yes, my team and I, we have books on listening for children and their families. And the person said, that's fantastic. And I started thinking about it. I spoke to my book coach and dear friend, Mr. Red O'Loughlin, and it made sense to write a book like this, in, <laughs> hello, in the textbook format so that you could have some key takeaways to actually find that inner peace through elevated listening. Now, I know there's some of you out there that are skeptical and you're thinking, I really know how to listen. So put it to the test. Literally, there is a pre-assessment quiz in here. And then there's a final assessment at the end. So this book contains two tests. Now, what if you say, I'm not a great test taker? You don't have to be a great test taker. You just have to use what you know about listening and answer the multiple choice questions. 
So there are a number of people that I want to thank for helping with this book, and they probably don't even realize it. We have a course called The Power of Listening. It's been around for over a year, and there are a number of role plays included in it. And I want to thank all the actors and actresses around the world who gave their time to do these role plays. And as a result, we have a number of people from around the world who are certified elevated listeners. So they've taken the course and they've joined our team at USA Global TV and Radio. That could be you. That's right. It could be you, you out there right now watching this. All you have to do is take the course, The Power of Listening. So where does this book come in? This book comes in because not only do we give you solutions, that's what I'm looking for, solutions for deeper connections, better relationships, and more authentic conversations. We give you testimonials and we give you case studies. We give you real information that you can take away from this book and implement, incorporate into your life. Now, some of what I wanna share just briefly is, wherever you are in your listening journey, there's always something more to learn. And part of what I've experienced, and maybe you've experienced this too, when you feel the emotions coming up, when there's something going on, you're not listening. We're not listening because we're so emotionally engaged in something. And that's where the true test comes in. When you are emotional, when you are going through a death, when you are going through a breakup, when you are going through a job loss, when you are going through health issues, are you able to keep an open mind free of judgment free of providing solutions, free of interruption, and free of stealing the stage so that you can give the gift of elevated listening. I just empower you. I encourage you to take the ego, take it and just put it aside and say, you know what? I want to be someone who is fully present for someone else. What will you find in this book? You cannot do two things at once and listen at an elevated level, okay? I used to think I was super fantastic at doing six things at one time. Why six? Because I had my iPads, I had my computer, I had my iPhone, whatever devices I had, I was doing something on all of them. I couldn't be listening. There's no award for multitasking. So I had to learn the hard way. And today I am known as the listening mentor because I really do focus my time and effort on listening at a higher level. And it's not always easy because when you're interacting with people who don't have the skill because they haven't worked on it, then you find yourself thinking, wow, this is challenging. I, I gotta go back to the book. I gotta go back to the course. So that's where this can come into play. So I invite you, I encourage you to take the ego and think about your heart. Think about if somebody gave you the time and was listening to you and was fully present and was not providing a solution, was just there for you. How would that make you feel? Versus when you ask someone, hey, Bob, can I have 10 minutes of your time? I wanna share something that happened with you. And then you start to talk and Bob immediately says, I know what you need. No, Bob, you don't know what I need. You think you have a solution to fix me, but I didn't ask to be fixed. I just asked you if you had 10 minutes to listen to what I had to say. We get stuck in the silence. We don't like not knowing what our role is. Your role, again, if you choose to join us in the journey of elevated listening, which can't be done 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because you have a life to live. If you choose to take this journey, then you will have to set boundaries and ask for permission. And people have to ask for permission of you to be able to share when they want to share. And we can't always do that. We can't always do that. I'm going to leave you with a few things, and I hope you'll join me on my talking head segments where I go into this a little bit more. But I've seen this so many times. You're sitting head down at your desk doing something. Someone comes up from behind, and they start talking to the back of your head. 
blah, 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 blah. Now, are you able to listen to what they're saying? Absolutely not. But yet they keep going. And then they're frustrated. Are you listening to me? No, I'm not listening to you. It's not possible to listen to you. But we do these things all the time. I've seen where you've got a bunch of people together watching a football game and somebody's not interested in football and they stand in front of the people and they go like this. Hey, are you listening to me? I have something to say. No, they're not. They're fully engaged with the game. And you want to take this time to share something really important. So you're going to learn more about if it's not an emergency, typically it can wait. It can wait because, again, it's a gift to give someone elevated listening. I thank you for your elevated listening. And I welcome you to go over to Amazon and purchase your copy of this book. Here it is, Mastering the Power of Elevated Listening, Solutions for Deeper Connections, Better Relationships, and More Authentic Conversations. This is available through Kindle, through the ebook. It's also available through paperback. And the paperback is in honor of the International Day of Listening. I just got my copies today, so you can get your copies now. We also have our next book coming out for the children's series, Lady Elle Listens in the Baobab National Game Park. This is part of the amazing adventures of Lady Ella, the listening mentor. This book, number five, has been an Amazon number one new release 10 times so far since it was released a number of months ago. And then, of course, we have our original book, book number one in the series, and then I've the first book I ever wrote behind the green screen. Let me just slide down here. And then we've got the second book, Lady Ella's ABCs of Listening. We've also got the Lady Ella has Afternoon Tea in London. And then our fourth book is The Ocean Calls and Lady Ella Listens. And then finally, we have The Adversity to Awesome was the second book I ever wrote. And Blonde, Sexy, and Hot as She-Eyed, Beauty, Brains, and Ulcerative Colitis. That's my biography of having ulcerative colitis for 33 years. This book is also coming out Thursday, September the 21st. And then in the future, we will have The Magical Adventures of Lady Ella and Her Superpowered Friends. That's a whole new series. And that's starring Caroline Heward. And Dr. Madeline Chan and I are working with many creatives for the Creative Hearts Awakening book project. So that's coming out soon as well. And I mentioned Mastering the Power of Elevated Listening series. There will be nine books in this particular series. So we welcome you to go over to Amazon, pick up your copies. And if you're not, you know, your friends are. Your friends are interested in learning how to listen. And I want to give a special note of thanks to a number of people. And I want to say, first of all, the dedication in the book is to my mother, my dear mother, Joyce Kerbeck. I miss you so much. And I'm sorry that you're not here to celebrate this, but you're in my heart. I want to thank Mr. Al Sini for his testimonial. I want to thank Caroline Heward for her testimonial. And I want to thank Mr. Keith Saltoyanis. He wrote the foreword for this book. And here it is. Keith actually came to us through his publicist, Mickey Mickelson. Thank you, Mickey. So many fabulous people you've sent us. And Keith wrote the foreword, which is brilliant. He's an acclaimed best-selling writer at National Lampoon and other places. He's also the founder of Improv LA. And he is an award-winning author himself. And prior to him writing the forward to the book, he wasn't on our team, but he is now. He's an elevated listener and he has his own show here, which is the perfect podcast. Do join him on Tuesdays at noon Pacific time at 2 p.m. Central Time, at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, at 8 p.m. British Summer Time, at 9 p.m. Central European Time. Also, I want to thank a number of people who are elevated listeners and have written testimonials about the power of listening. They might not even know that they are being mentioned here, so that makes me really so heart-centric. Helena Shard, thank you, Helena. You can find Helena on the United Kingdom News and Culture right here on our platform. Zane Carson Carruth, you can find her on her own show, Elegance, 
polished demeanor, and posh living. Leo Bodery, who was a fabulous guest on our shows, thank you. Kevin O'Doherty, who was also a fabulous guest on our shows. Maria Eduardo, also the same thing. Maria Ruseva, thank you. B. Mizell Rose, thank you to you for being a fabulous guest. Roger Leslie, who was a show host here and he has left to go pursue some other interests, thank you. Kim Adele Randall, who is currently a show host here on Authentic Achievements, thank you. Dr. Bruce Banner, who's also been an incredible guest. Thank you all for being elevated listeners and for taking the time to better yourselves with the learning how to listen. I also want to say a huge, huge heartfelt thank you to my dear friend, Mr. Red O'Loughlin. Without him, without his book coaching, without his mentoring, without his friendship, he and his wife are dear friends and they were there for me throughout the whole time with my mother. And I will never forget that as long as I live. Let's take a look at Red's website. He's an author, he's a speaker, he's a publisher. I think he has four shows with us here at USA Global TV and Radio. He also has a Talking Heads segment that is now starting as of tomorrow and Thursday. Talking Heads will be on E360 TV as well as USA Global TV and Radio. And please do reach out to Red. He can help you become a number one best-selling author. He is a publisher. He is a speaker. He's a longevity expert. He's a veteran. And he is one of the finest people I have ever met. Please do take a look at the books that he's offering. And you can reach out to him through his website, redolaughlin.com. You can also reach out to him through his phone. He loves if you call him texting. He doesn't love as much, but he loves when you call on the phone. That number is, if you're outside the United States, 01-281-687-1188. You can email him at red at redoloughlin.com. That's R-E-D, like the color, at red, R-E-D, O-Loughlin, O-L-A-U-G-H-L-I-N.com, or his email red.oloughlin at gmail.com. Thank you. And again, please do reach out to him. I honor each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this. And please do reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. If you have an idea for a collaboration, if you purchased the book and you'd like to share your thoughts with me, please leave a review on Amazon. That would really be so meaningful. And if you would like to collaborate, as I mentioned, if you would like to be a guest on our programs, if you have an idea for a new show, please reach out. Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com. That's all I have for now. Thank you again. Please consider how much your life can change for the positive when you master the power of elevated listening. All right, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.